Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what I have for you is a dupe on this $90 faux pumpkin wreath from Pottery Barn. All the materials that I'm gonna be using for this wreath is gonna be from the dollar store. So when I saw this $90, wait, what? All you're gonna be needing is a pool noodle and pumpkins. The ones that I originally was gonna get they ran out of them. They only had a few bags. So I ended up getting these other ones that they're a pumpkin garland and they come in a set of nine. So it was a better bang for your buck to be able to get something like this. They do come with a string that is hot glued to the pumpkin. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be re removing each of the pumpkins so that at the end, I get these. So how they come, they come in this twine but what i'm going to be doing is just lightly removing it from it and that's it now i have my pumpkins so it comes like this and they had a lot of them so i'm going to go ahead and remove them from here and i'm going to remove the hot glue that they have over here from each one of them you just want to make sure that you're lightly doing it you could also move the the stem just a little bit just to kind of like get around it and remember also too that if for whatever reason it comes off you can always um, put some hot glue on it but so i messed this one up while i was trying to remove it now I could technically not use it, but I could also, I'm gonna be putting pumpkins in the bottom of it, and I could put this towards the back of the wreath so you might not even see it. So I'm gonna leave it aside, and then I'll decide once I start sticking them on if it's even worth using them. going to do is we're going to get the pool noodle and we're going to try to make a wreath out of it but i also and this is just an extra step that i'm taking i do want to keep some type of stability in it so that over time it doesn't end up going like this so i am going to be putting a wire inside of it kind of like what a clothes hanger would be like a metal one um and you can just probably get this at lowe's or any hardware store so i'm just going to fish it through have it pop out i already have cut it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook it to here again it's just to provide that extra support and i'm just going to loop it around i can do this with my hands Again, it's just to provide that extra support. Now I'm gonna heat up my glue gun and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it together. I'm hoping that the glue gun works, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So what I ended up doing was just using duct tape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the piece that you're gonna need, split it down the middle. That way it's not a thick piece that you're gonna be using. And then you're going to hold the pull noodle together and then just wrap it around. Once you put the pumpkins on there, you won't even be able to see the blue tape in the back. Now you're going to hot glue the bottom of the pumpkins and then you're going to gently line them up on the noodle. Next, you're gonna start on the inner part of the noodle and line them up as well. Lastly, you're gonna finish up with the outer part of the noodle. Guys, and here is the finished product. I mean, we just duped a $90 Pottery Barn pumpkin wreath and i think it looks absolutely amazing if you are looking for fall decor or halloween decor i love how the black comes through i'm in love 
I'm in love. I ended up using five, five and a half bags of the pumpkins. So I would say like six bags probably. Guys, this is amazing, amazing. It took me almost probably two hours to do, but it was because I was trying to take them out of this uh, twine. So that does take a little bit of time. And you could obviously get these pumpkins ever, anywhere else, but I love the fact that they were dollar store. So cheap to do and just simply amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope that you give it a thumbs up, comment, share it with your friends. I mean, how amazing is this for Halloween, for fall? Watch out Pottery Barn, we're coming for you. I'm kidding, send me free things. I upload every Saturday, not only DIY, I post on parenthood, our country life, random things that we're doing at the house. So I hope if you guys like it, you guys can subscribe to the channel and again, share it with your friends. What an amazing fall dupe we did. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.